Hey, Sam, did you know you can uh, make Prolog talk to Excel? I, I have heard of it, Anne, but I haven't done it much. I, I fiddled with it once, but can you explain it to me? Sure, you just use DDE. DDE is a really old in, local interprocess system for Windows. Uh, it has a client and a server. And the server publishes just usually one service for the whole application. And then under that, it publishes topics. The system topic is supposed to reflect and allow you to explore the other topics and to control the application. And then the other topics depend on what the application is. Within a topic, there are items, and each request is for an item. How do we actually make a request? I'll show you. Uh, here I've got a spreadsheet that's already open and uh, we'll try and read cell A3 from uh, this sheet Hama. You start a DDE conversation uh, and then you make as many DDE requests as you need and then you close the DDE conversation. I found out the hard way that uh, if you leave them open, they leak memory, so close them quickly. Um, now this first argument is the service name. And of course it's Excel, since we're on Excel. Uh, WinWord is what it is for Word. The next argument is the topic. And for Excel, it's this square brackets with the name of the open document, which took me a while to figure out, with no path. And then this is the name of the individual worksheet. Now we're going to ask for the value in A3. And there are two styles of cell references. And this is the only one that works in DDE, is R3C1. That will put the contents in X as a code string. And then we just close the conversation. And now let's try running it. Get cell X. And we get just one cell uh, as a tab separated string. So we get a Windows style line feed. Now, um, we can do a, uh, a range by just using the colon notation. So if we try cell range, then we can get a whole tab separated values format. Uh, what about system topic you mentioned that line here? System topic uh, return has some items. One of them is topics that returns a list of available topics. Let's try that. You can see I've opened the system topic here and then ask for topics. And we get the available system topics, which is the two spreadsheets and system itself and the colon. The topic and item names are often poorly documented. And it's supposed to be reflective, but my experience is it doesn't always work. Using the system topic can be really helpful. Oh, that's great. So now we can get data from Excel into Prolog. And that means that we could, for example, check if our spreadsheet meet a set of constraints by writing some constraint predicates in Prolog. You can do a lot of cool computational things on the Prolog side. So can we go the other way? I really like the graphs that Excel produces. Can we use them with Prolog data? Sure, we can pass unsolicited data to Excel using this DD poke. Um, so I have a graph here, which uh, is driven by these four cells. And let's try changing the data and having the graph update. So here is... Uh, pretty much the same uh, open DD conversation we've had before, but now we'll generate a random number and then we'll poke it into R1C10. And um, then we'll do that same thing for the other three cells and uh, close the conversation. And if I run set cell we can see it changes and if i run it a few times it'll change i, I presume excel can read data from prolog 
Sure, Excel has a simple syntax for doing a DDE request and uh, writing a prologue server is pretty simple. Let's make a, a really simple server that serves the prologue flags. It's a single call and um, our service name is the functor of this arity 3 term uh, and we can it can be what we like, prologue's the obvious name, and uh, then the topic is going to be current prologue flag to match the predicate. If we leave item unbound, we'll get it, and then we just call our handler here, at, in this case just the library predicate current prologue flag, and return the value in V. So let's run flag server. And that starts the server. So the first argument to DD register service is always the compound term of arity free. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, it can be of arity too. Uh, that's the case for a server that handles commands. And we're not going to get to that in this video, but it's demonstrated in the example files. So let's uh, finish our flag server. Um, so let me bring Excel up. And in this cell, uh, you can see we have this expression uh, equal service name or bar topic name bang and then item and uh, so if we run this it tells us uh, what our home is and now if I change it and make it the version it tells me that I haven't updated my sweet prologue in a while. That's really neat. Thanks for showing that to me, Anne. Hey, no problem, Sam. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Playing With Prologue.